Alright, so here we have the other new motor from Rotor X, the RX 1107 7600 kV. Uh, so, pretty interesting motor uh, with the height of 7 millimeters on the stator. Uh, should have a pretty good torque to spin any of the 3 inch and 2.5 inch props. A pretty high kV, so this one is most likely made for 2S use. Uh, it might be able to run three, uh, 3S, uh, perhaps on the two, in, two and a half inch props. That's something uh, to be careful. So if you're gonna run this on 3S, uh, I'd suggest you do check uh, motor temps. Rotor X doesn't really give that much specs on the motor, so I don't know what material the aluminum is or or what kind of magnets they're using. But uh, overall, the motor is pretty well made and a lot of attention to detail as you can see uh, the they're leaving stress with some glue here for the wires and uh, they went with the pretty much the same configuration as the 1404 that i reviewed uh, recently minimal spokes here on the bell as you can see there's only two spokes and the two threaded holes for the propeller and at the bottom we see the naked uh, bottom the minimal base here. Uh, so they use a standard e-clip for securing the shaft that's easily removable and standard 9mm uh, mount pattern on the base and uh, this one comes in with uh, about 100 millimeters of uh, 24 gauge wire for the motor leads so let's see what it weighs with that much wire uh, so with a hundred millimeters of wire the motor weighs in at uh, nine grams So if we cut it to 50 millimeters, then we'll get rid of that much wire half a gram So the motor weighs in at about eight eight point five grams With 50 millimeters of wire so pretty reasonable weight So let's take off the c-clip and pull this apart and let's get a closer look on the magnifying glass Okay, so here's a close-up of the motor. As you can see, very well constructed. Nice and tight uh, tolerances on the air gap right there, as you can see. Not extremely tight, but not loose either. So I removed the E-clip and the bell pops right out. And there we have a look at the the magnets and bell, a typical construction. Um, that's a 1.5 millimeter shaft, which is just pressed in through there. So again, uh, as I mentioned in previous uh, reviews, it's a good idea to uh, to drill those props, the center hole of the prop, so we don't keep pushing on the shaft and it, it doesn't back out. Uh, some motors have that problem where uh, you start pushing on the shaft and it, it starts to back out and then you end up with a vertical play. So to avoid that it's a good idea to drill the um, uh, the center hole of the prop with the uh, 116 bit and that'll uh, that'll fit just right. It, it, you you won't have any issues uh, going through the uh, through that hole. And here's the stator. So let's measure that uh, height of the stator should be seven millimeters. So there it is, uh, it's pretty much seven millimeters. Nominal height, nothing, nothing surprising there. And uh, uh, some kind of glue there to relieve stress on the wire. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, but the base also has this extra bit of material there, so that kind of that will also help because when you uh, when you mount the motor, it'll it'll sort of uh, crimp the uh, it'll sort of uh, grab the wire there, so that that'll help relieve the stress. So that's that's pretty uh, pretty good uh, attention to detail there. And the uh, wire seems to be single strand, pretty well constructed motor. 
So it's going to be interesting to see how this performs on 2S and maybe even 3S. I'll give it a go on 3S and see how it does. Uh, pretty interesting sights too with the 1107 stator. So that's going to be an interesting motor to, to put on the thrust stand. So let's move on to the thrust test and see, see what it does. All right, so here are the thrust test results for the Rotor X RX 1107 7600 kV. I could not measure the kV value because uh, on the thrust stand, uh, these motors that have really high kV and small stator, 11 size stator, they just don't register on the measurement. The ESC sensor has uh, trouble uh, determining the RPM when you do the KV measurement so sorry about that. So well I'm sure it's pretty close to 7600 uh, based on the results here. As you can see this motor is quite uh, quite powerful actually. Uh, pretty good uh, format I think this uh, 1107. It's a little bit taller than the 1106s so for 2S seems to work uh, pretty well and even on 3S with the right props this motor uh, will give you lots of thrust. I'm going to link a video on the uh, on the description uh, somebody posted on my 1404 review they posted uh, their flight video with the 1107 I was pretty impressed with uh, the performance I mean the, that quad that he's using on 3S just flies really really well so this motor is quite capable on 3s with the right props so check out that video i'll link it on the video description so anytime i see one of these little motors pushing 400 grams that's pretty impressive any of these motors that pushes 400 grams that with a decent amp use should make for a very good motor on one of these micro quads so as you can see on 3s this motor compares pretty well to motors in the 1106 class size so uh, as I said, this motor should be a very good option for a lightweight uh, build on 3 inch. So that was the thrust test results on this motor. It looks like a pretty good option for PD Micro Quad. So hope you find it that useful and until the next video. Thank you for watching.